Is there a way to prevent the Accutane purge? That's the question that we're going to talk about today. Welcome, I'm Dr. Arthur Kolsky. I'm founder and medical director of Advanced Acne Institute, and we are a dermatology practice that only treats acne. So we're unique in that respect, and we'd like to share some of our insights and experiences, hoping that acne sufferers watching might gain some useful information on their path toward clear skin. So today we're going to talk about a question that comes up quite a bit, and that is, is there a way to prevent having to experience the Accutane purge. So many people who are contemplating taking Accutane, they have done some research and they find that many patients who take Accutane experience what they refer to as a purging in which their acne actually gets worse in the beginning of treatment. Now, obviously, if we wanna use Accutane to help heal your acne, we don't want you to get worse. So is there a way that we can prevent that from happening? So first of all, the good news is that the majority of patients don't experience worsening in the beginning anyway. And we've done studies in our own practice and we find that about 24% of our patients have some degree of worsening in the beginning before they start to get better. But the reality is that most of those patients only have a few extra pimples. Some have a lot more extra pimples and only a very rare uh, patient has a really severe worsening. But still, we don't want any worsening to happen. Our job is to help you get better, not to make you worse. So how can we do that? Is there a way that we can use Accutane treatment to help you get better without having even the slightest risk of getting worse? So I'll tell you what we do in our practice to try and help prevent that from happening. So what we do is, number one, we start with a very low dose of Accutane. So the first month of treatment, we start with a very low dose. And that's on purpose because it helps us oftentimes by starting with a low dose to get around some of that worsening that happens if we were to start at much higher doses. As a matter of fact, most dermatologists will start with a lower dose the first month and then increase for the months after that. However, in our practice, we start with even a lower dose because we find that by using such a low dose the first month, it gives us a chance to, to circumvent a lot of that worsening in the first month. The second thing we do is we have our patients come to see us within 10 days of starting the medicine. So by doing that and by checking them very early after starting treatment, we can pick up signals or signs that they might be starting to experience worsening of their acne. So if we start to see extra pimples developing, if we start to see signs that their acne is actually getting worse instead of better, we intervene. So what do I mean by intervene? So one thing that we do is sometimes we'll stop the medicine completely. We'll suspend treatment for maybe a week maybe 10 days, maybe two weeks. It depends on the severity of what we see. How much worsening do we think is happening? And once we stop the medicine, we follow up with our patients and see how they're doing. A lot of times, any worsening that was occurring will recede and they'll start getting better. And once we feel that their improvement is at the level that's acceptable, then we'll consider resuming Accutane. But when we do, we'll probably start with a lower regimen. For example, instead of treating the patient every single day with Accutane, we might treat them every other day, or we might reduce the dose altogether. So it depends on what we see in each individual patient. But the idea is that we suspend the treatment, we let things calm down, then we resume slowly. And once we get over that hump, then we begin to escalate our treatment begin to treat them with a more frequent dose and we're on our way. And usually by doing that, most of the time we can get through that bump in the road with no problems. And we can begin back on the, the standard course of treatment, bringing our patients up to the dose that we want them to be on. So that's one way that we do it. Another thing we do is we enlist the patient's help. So although we watch and we have the patient come back in 10 days, we also ask the patients to watch for any worsening. 
And we tell them if they start to see extra pimples developing to stop the treatment and call us right away. So then we can look and see if we agree that, that they're getting worse. And then we can intervene again and do some of the same things that I just mentioned. Now, in order to make good decisions in this regard, we take a lot of pictures. So we take pictures baseline before our patients start treatment. And then we take pictures at milestones along the way. Every time we see the patient, we, we're taking pictures and we're, we're looking at those pictures and we're comparing to the month before. And the goal is not to see worsening because if we do see worsening, we know that we need to take steps to try and stop that. Now, every time we increase the dose, for example, after the first month, we started with a very low dose. The second month, we start, we, we increase to an intermediate dose. And then the third month, we might bring it up to the standard dose that we want. So every time we make that increase, we have to look. We have to look for any worsening. And our instructions to our patients are always watch for any extra pimples. And if you see any, let us know right away. Because we don't want to wait a whole month for the patient to come back and see us only to find that they've been getting worse for the whole month. So we're very proactive in that respect. And we're watching our patients closely during the whole treatment to try to intervene and identify these types of things that are happening so that we can take steps to mitigate that possibility if we start to see those signs that things are getting worse instead of better. So those are some of the things that we do in our practice to try and limit the worsening that could occur in some patients taking Accutane. And it's proven to be very helpful for us. And we can oftentimes, if not most of the time, prevent those types of things from happening so our patients experience the most optimal treatment that they can.